first up to speak is Angela Jo Tusa Medina. And my name is Spanish, but I still can't quite do the, the proper Z, so I apologize. <clears throat> that, that you did a great job, actually. Okay, well, thank um, you. <laughs> good morning, commissioners. Good morning, chair. Good morning, vice chair. My name is Angela Jo Tusa Medina, and I'm vice chair of the Commission on Immigrant Affairs. I'm here to bring your attention to recommendation 2014-022-005C, which the Commission on Immigrant Affairs put forth to Council on February 20th, 2014, regarding the Capital Area Council of Government's regional notification system. I bring this to your attention because we feel it impacts the work of your Commission and the population and interests you serve. CAPCOG system, formerly called the Emergency Notification System, uses a reverse dialing telephone method to notify members of the public of critical emergency information in situations where property, human life, are in danger and of events, other events that might affect them. Originally, the system would contact only those persons with regular landline telephone service. However, with the rise in popularity of cell phone service and the fact that many residents rely solely on cell phones, they, um, CAPCOG has added the ability to notify individuals via cell phone if there is an emergency near their home, business, or other location. Until recently, Persons with cell phones needed to register their contact information into the CAPCOG system online. This was problematic because there was very little done in terms of outreach and awareness raising about this issue. The digital divide exists. Not everyone has a computer. Not everyone is computer literate. Not everyone is literate. And the website was only available in English. Since the Commission on Immigrant Affairs put, put forth its recommendation, CAPCOG has also included a toll-free number through which one can register. The number is 1-866-484-3264. Nevertheless, key pieces of our recommendation still stand, these being that the on-phone registration system for the regional notification system be available in several commonly spoken non-English languages thus making it more accessible to foreign-born and or non-English, non-Spanish speaking residents. That the website be translated into Spanish and other additional languages, including but not limited to Vietnamese, Chinese, French, and Korean. And that the City of Austin conduct a public information campaign and community workshops in multiple languages besides English and Spanish to raise awareness regarding the need and how to register. We urge you to take action on this item, barring any questions. Thank you. I had a, a question. Do you know uh, the percentage of population for the different uh, representations, Vietnamese, Chinese, French, and Korean? We, I, I don't know that. I don't have that data off the top of my head. I can facilitate that to you. We, uh, we know that approximately, I think, in Travis County alone, 20% of its residents are foreign-born. I mean, in the city of Austin alone, 20% of its residents are foreign-born. I would hope that you would also advocate for American Sign Language. I, I have worked with uh, Austin Travis County Emergency Management, and we've been also testing mm -hmm. out uh, the ability to uh, do ASL interpreter videos that are linked from the text messages that come out. So as you go around advocating for different mm -hmm. languages, please add ASL to your list because it is a language. Absolutely. Um, I think that we focus more on other languages, uh, but just because of, of the, the role of the Commission on Immigrant Affairs, which basically we're speaking to immigrant needs in, in, in the city of Austin. So, but I, I will include that. Thank you. Um, um, okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Go ahead. If, if I may, I, I think um, your commission um, presented a first contact card several months ago or maybe mm -hmm. a year ago, uh, which was fantastic. Do you think that you'll mesh or your recommendation is to, to mesh that card in terms of the languages that card's available in along uh, with the suggestion to CAPCOG to have those same languages represented on the websites? Well, we have well, there are various issues. We have um, looked at getting the cards done in other languages and also making some um, amendments to them. But and, and actually taking your point, I think that it would be a great idea if we could include the contact internet information for this uh, regional notification system on the emergency cards so people also know that, that, that that's something that they, they need to do. I think that might answer your question. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I just want to remind the Commission that we did get a copy of 
these recommendations and that I have been working with Dolores to um, come up with our own um, recommendation Great. From, from our committee. Great. That makes me very happy. <laughs> I think a better avenue than the toll-free number would be using 211 for people to be able to sign up. Uh, right now, the State of Texas Emergency Assistance Registry is available to people with disabilities through 211 Texas, but signing up for this uh, 211 would be a great avenue if, if uh, CAPCOG could link into that. Uh, that's right now the uh, single point of contact for information and referral in the community, and it, it's really better to link into something that's already known than create something new. I absolutely agree, and I think that in our recommendation we had mentioned something specific like that because that's some a number that people already know. And honestly, if you, people are already connected to that as an emergency system, it's kind of somewhat reinventing the wheel to create another system and have people re-register for it. Well, it's not an emergency system, but it is mm -hmm. an information and referral system, and it's being used for registration for other emergency services. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. That's all. Any other questions? Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Have Appreciate a great it. meeting. Thank you. Thanks.